Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, day 560. And someone mentioned the other day that my microphone sounded a bit different. I'm having a look at it here. It is redlining a little bit. Let me know if you guys think I should take the whole microphone down a bit. And then if like, you should turn it up on your end. Like, how am I coming across relative to other YouTube videos you watch? If you watch any other videos. Of course, I'm probably the only videos you watch. Just looping through all my daily challenges constantly. God, that'd be a way to drive, some, drive someone insane. Ah, uh, this is a strange park. Let's take these headphones off. Don't need them. Oh, that's a precarious spot to put them. Huh. Keeps pushing me in and out. Whenever it's an area like this, oh, I just opened Epic Games because I wanted to play... Yeah, look, it's popping up there. I wanted to play a game after this on Epic Games. Exit. But I realized that's what caused lag last time. Okay. Epic Games is gone. India. That's what I'm trying to say. This remind this round sort of... Well, we're in an area, so it makes me think India. But it doesn't look like India at all, does it? Honestly, I've been to parks like this in Australia. This round is honestly... Awful. There's like nowhere we can go. Palm? Palmerton. Is this a new area? Am I free? No, I'm not free. Please. Let me read the map. No. Directorio. I have a theory. And it's wrong. It can't be Costa Rica. Costa Rica has some parks, and that sign looked like it could have been in Spanish or something. Maybe it is Costa Rica. It's just, like, not a park in the city. I know Costa Rica likes to do walkthroughs of their parks. But that's always been parks in the city. It's never been a park as rural as this one. I don't know where to go. We're going to go to Costa Rica. And the only reason we're going to go here is so I can tell a story. I'm going to put myself, like, far outside. I don't know. I have no other clues. But yesterday I was trying to learn all the islands of the Caribbean and Central America here. Let me tell the story quickly. And I came up with a fun acronym. It is Great Britain eventually has no colonies. And I thought of it yesterday and I've been practicing with it since. It's been so good for learning the order of these countries. I've been so impressed with it. Um, let's lock this in just to see how we did. Puerto Rico. I'm honestly, Costa Rica is fantastic. If I wasn't in Costa Rica, I would have gone somewhere dumb like India. The fact that we're that close is good enough for me. But yeah, the reason I was trying to learn those Central American countries is I've been practicing Africa for a while in my quest to try and learn every country on earth and its location. Government warning, cigarette smoking is dangerous. Um, Philippines? Very Philippines vibes, lots of English writing. Southeast Asia. Let's keep looking. Yes, a while ago I posted a video about me trying to name every country ever, and I think I got 42%. And the other night I recorded my next, like, rehearsal after practicing Africa for a while. And boy, have I gotten better at Africa. Um, but then I discovered a lot of other places I'm weak at. So I'm uploading that video, hopefully sometime tonight, like around the same time as this video. But my progress in learning every country on Earth is going well, and I'm very happy with it. I feel so much more useful at geography because I've never been great at it. I have no idea. I'm just going to put a marker in Papua New Guinea. Not Papua New Guinea. Gosh, the Philippines. Down there. Yo, not bad. And I started getting better at geography when I started playing GeoGuessr. But I very quickly realized Swaziland. That is the old name for Eswatini. See? I know that about... Oh, Montessori? There's a Montessori school in Eswatini. Montessori, if you don't know, is a 
very unique way of teaching students where I believe the vibe is you don't really grade them or keep them in strict classes. It's more about freedom and them teaching themselves through play. So you'll, you'll find a lot of schools called Montessori. There's one near me where I live. I, I worked there briefly. I helped them with a the school musical. If anyone remembers, back when I did Aladdin, right at the start of me making these videos, I used to talk about it. That was with Montessori. Um, let's go zoom in. Because we're near a school like that, let's just go sort into the capital. Yeah, let's just go there. A bit further down, but not bad. But yes, oh my god, these have been such interesting rounds. I've got things to talk about, and I, they're so interesting. This is clearly London. We will rock you, Queen and Ben Elton, at the Dominion Theatre. That looks like Cats. So we're playing Guess the Musical now because I've gotten distracted. I like musicals. I, I think this is London. Maybe. Thank you, London card. Visit Yo Sushi. Okay, this is definitely somewhere in London. Sorry, there's a very loud car skidding around outside. Underground information. The Bakerloo and Northern Lines. Like, obviously we're on a train station. It's a big train station. Excuse me, sir. I'm just uh, trying to work out which station I'm at, if... Excuse me? He's not responding very well, is he? Where's my bag? Welcome to the... F Where's my bag? Airport? Left logic, logic, luggage. Oh, it's an airport. More likely, I think. No, that just says platforms. So it's a big train station where they might check in a bag for the Thames Clipper. Oh, no. London's Rail and Tube Service. Is that where we are? Is there a UI here? Come on, what a lovely map. I mean, should we just go to London? Um, London here. Looking for a bridge. Is this it? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's going to be further in. No. Maybe. Yes. With a weird arch thing. Oh yeah, look, there's the arch. There's the roundabout. Here. Embankment. Oh, Embankment Pier. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be. This is where we're going to be. Ah. Oh. Is this King's Cross? Charing Cross. Information. Uh, embarkation management. Elegance. Ice smash phone repairs. So many question marks. There's a toilet. I'm just going to put myself at the centre there. Lock it in. Yes! Perfect score! Charing Cross Station. What a strange round. Anyway, hopefully this next round is slightly less eventful, and I can finish what I was trying to say ages ago. Uh, Spanish, South American looking. <coughs> oh! I'm learning my South American car colours. It's only if it's Gen 3, but... Is this... Car's red. I have no clue. I think the car colour is not relevant. So, as I was saying ages ago, ever since I started playing GeoGuessr a lot, I, um... Sorry, I get distracted again. Is that... That looks like Ecuador's flag. I was going to say it's Colombia. EC, yeah. But it's not Colombia because there's no blue number... There's no yellow number plates. So this is Ecuador. I got only good at guessing countries that are in GeoGuessr. So I'm like, screw it, i got to learn the rest of the countries. 
Like, I've got to learn all the Caribbean islands. The worst one is over here. This mess. Tuvalu, Tolkien, Fiji, Nauru, Kiribati. Oh, I'm not looking forward to them. But that's basically what I'm doing. And that's the other YouTube video I'm uploading. There we go. End of story. Took way too long to get there because GeoGuessr was interesting. But at least GeoGuessr was interesting. Domingo. Oh, is that the name of the city? Santo Domingo. Oh, so close. Actually, damn it, maybe that was just an ad for somewhere in Santo Domingo. Who knows? I'm very happy with that score. 20,336. Awesome. Why has it zoomed in us in on the North Mariner Islands? No, that's just because I was before. Yo, we had a lot of friends play today. Well done, everyone. I'm happy that I'm halfway through. Everyone struggled on that first round, apart from people that... Do I really want to level the blame that I think Luca, Adup, and Nick have seen that round before? They play enough that I feel like they would have. If they worked it out without seeing that round before, that's very impressive, but I feel like they must have seen it before. Um, perfect scores on that London round. I don't blame the people that didn't get it. I think I got lucky finding that map. It was not an obvious station. Like, it wasn't one of the big ones. Actually, I kind of want to see people's concentrations of guesses there. London. Yeah, see, just all over London. Yeah, eight up went for a junction there. Everyone went for some form of train station. It was just a really random one. It was not a common train station. And I'm lucky I found that map. Anyway, GG everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to, check out my videos about me trying to learn every country. They're very interesting and I'm not very good at it, so it's quite enjoyable. Well, maybe that's not enjoyable. Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.